villagers, hungry and weary of battle, came and won a small village. The villagers, suffering a meagre harvest and the many years of war, quickly hid that little they had to eat and met the three at the village square, wringing their hands and bemoaning the lack of anything to eat. The soldiers spoke quietly among themselves, and the first soldier then told the village elders, Your tired fields have left you nothing to share, so we will share what little we have. The secret of how to make soup and stone. Naturally, the villagers were intrigued, and soon a fire was put to the town's greatest kettle as the soldiers dropped in three smooth stones. Now this will be a fine soup, says the second soldier, but a pinch of salt and some parsley would make it wonderful. Up jumped a villager, crying, What luck! I've just remembered where some's been left. And off she ran, returning with an apostle of parsley and turnips. As the kettle boiled on, the memory of the villager grew. Soon barley, carrots, beef and cream had found their way into the great pot, and a cask of wine was rolled into the square as all sat down to feast. They ate and danced and sang well into the night. The fresh spread the feast and their newfound friends. In the morning, the three soldiers awoke to find the entire village standing before them. At their feet lay a satchel of the village's best breads and cheese. You have given us the greatest of gifts, the secret of how to make soup and stone, said an elder, and you shall never forget. The third soldier turned to the crowd and said, There is no secret, but this is certain. It is only by sharing that we may make a feast. And off the soldiers wandered down the road.